We are done with half of the year. Let's go ahead and look back and see how the Bay Area and the US real estate market performed. Hey everyone, this is Aid Hannah with the Hannah Group here at Real Estate 38 and we always start with what's active in the market today. We have 861 total actives while at the same time we have 468 pendings. So 450 to 500 pendings have been consistent uh, in regards to how many homes are in contract. So this is from Alto's research and I'm going to give you some data that is absolutely isn't consistent with uh, the Bay Area numbers. Uh, the amount of actives that we have on the market how did we perform a year ago? How did we perform, heck, the past five to seven years? So let's go ahead and compare that. The first one here, you could see in this graph, when we look at 2016, 17, 18, 19, all the way to COVID times, we had higher numbers of total actives. Comparing, for example, to a year ago, uh, we you could see the graph being low there, and now you can actually see it coming up. We are 37%. When we go to the next one, we get to actually see by state how, for example, California is 37.6% higher in inventory 2024 versus 23. Now, mind you, we dropped a lot. From 21 to 22, we had this dramatic drop. We're still not there yet. Uh, but, you know, the states that are actually leading the inventory is Texas, Florida, and Arizona. Those Sunbelt states, COVID, go work from home, a lot of migration. Now that's no longer happening. There are a few things that are happening alongside that, like hurricanes and insurance issues and fire. Their taxes are going up, so a lot of the locals are not being able to actually afford it, so they're forced to sell. So that is leading. Colorado's following that. So how are we doing? How is the Bay Area? How is California doing? So when I look at the numbers for San Jose specifically, in 2023, we had 500, same time, this is this week, 543 total actives, while today we have 861. That is exactly 37%, just exactly as you see in California, 37.6% more actives than a year ago. So this is healthier for buyers, although what we had, what we saw because of the pent up demand, we saw 10 to 15% appreciation here from January to about June. We kind of tapered that off and now we're dropping in values a little bit. However, we're still higher than January and I still believe we're going to end the year higher than beginning of January. So year over year, we are going to be up. Inventory is a little bit higher. August 15th is the peak of the inventory. Then we drop obviously due to the holidays that are coming up. So if you want data, if you're just kind of curious or simply confused, you don't know what to do, allow me to give you the information to guide you through this process because I follow it. Feel free to reach out, 408-515-1613. Bye-bye for now.